Today I have the pleasure of speaking with Stuart Rogers from Terra X Minerals. How are you today? You're a great person. And of course, Stuart, you are one of this top six high-grade gold deposits in the resource sector. Can you give us a bit of an overview for those out there in investor intel land that may not have heard of you before? Yeah, at Terex, we've assembled a, uh, a major gold district. We're right adjacent to the city of Yellowknife, one of the major high-grade uh, historic gold camps in Canada. Uh, and I guess the key to this is high grade. And the other key is that we are right beside a city. Wow. So we have excellent infrastructure. And of course, Terra X Minerals just announced the recent results from a 27,000 meter drilling program. Can you give us the highlights and tell us what you found? The, uh, we've actually released the four, first four holes of that drill program. So we've taken a brief pause and we will be back drilling again in January. So we still have lots of results to come. The first four holes were all successful. We extended the zone at depth. We extended along strike. And we had uh, high-grade gold intercepts, such as five meters of uh, 29 grams a ton in the hanging wall, another two meters of 24 grams a ton in the main zone. So excellent results for the first four, and we've got lots more results coming. So, of course, the drilling results that you just announced are obviously high-grade gold. Can you, can you tell us a little bit more about what this means? What this means with these drill results is that they are actually extended the gold that we had discovered uh, further down dip, like further deeper into the deposit. We also extended a long strike. And what we did is we also uh, were able to show continuity in the mineralization. So that's what's really important. Also in these drill holes, we had the main zones that we hit, but we also had pervasive gold mineralization throughout the hole. Uh, so a lower grade mineralization, which has meant that we have to assay the complete hole because we have gold all the way through it, though obviously you know, some of it is more anomalous than, than high grade. But we do have the main zones that make this a pretty significant uh, find, we think. Okay, and I'm going to ask you, because you're obviously a gold expert, which I am not, what does a significant find actually mean to you? And, and what should we as accredited investors be looking for? Well, what you're always looking for initially is high grade zone. You're looking for like wide zones of mineralization. You're looking at for extensive strike area, which we've identified on service and we're testing now. And then eventually you do all the work and you've got an ore body and, and a mine. So uh, we are we think we're on the track, uh, on track for that with what we've uh, the results we're getting today. And speaking of being on track. When I read your news release, it said you might be drilling again in January. Are you not? Uh, is it not rather cold to be drilling in January? Or I, I thought you took that was off season. Uh, for most people, it's off season, and the, only, the main reason it's off season is not because it's cold, because people live up in the north all year round, and they're used to it. And actually, in some cases, it's not much colder in Ottawa or Saskatoon. So uh, the big difference is in the north in the winter, if you're in a remote project that you have to fly into, you can't fly in the winter because there's so little light. So in our case, we're beside the city. Our drillers drive to work. They drive home at the end of the day. We're not worrying about camps and infrastructure uh, support for them like that. So we can drill all year round because we're right beside the city. Okay, so you have some pretty aggressive drill results. So if you're drilling in January, when should we as shareholders anticipate results? Uh, we're going to have more results probably starting in the next few weeks because we've only released four holes out of a 27,000 meter drill program. We got 36 holes uh, done before we shut the drills down to winterize them. Uh, so we've got another 32 holes to release before we start up drilling again, and then we'll be drilling in probably the first week of January. And again, uh, with a flow uh, of uh, drill results and news all the way through till uh, we start drilling in the summer <laughs> okay. of next year. All right. So, so you're an incredibly aggressive uh, drilling strategy in, in the Terra X Minerals. For us as shareholders, that's what we should anticipate for the next two quarters. Is that correct? Yes. And obviously you're planning on substantiating a consistent pattern of having these high-grade gold zones. Is that correct? We hope that's what, uh, what the drill uh, core provides us with. Course, we have, so far the indications are good. And of course, Stuart, you're, you came to my attention through a, a shareholder I have a lot of respect for. And so I don't know that everybody is as familiar with you, although your stock has had some very good support in the market. Can you tell us a little bit more about your management team? Because I noticed you have quite a bit of bench strength. We do. I think the key to this project, uh, our being able to acquire this project and develop it like we have, is Joe Campbell. He's our chairman, chief executive officer. He's done this before. He was re responsible for discovering Melodine, which is now owned by Agnico Eagle. 
And the reason they own it is because he introduced it to them, did some of the preliminary work, and actually the work to develop it to the stage where they were interested. And it's a very similar project to what we have here, which we feel has the same potential. And the key for us and for the interest we've had too is that I mean, Joe knows what he's doing. He's doing all the right work. He's done it before, and we're trying to follow that same uh, business plan with this project. And there you have it. Joe knows what he's doing. And uh, thank you so much, Stuart, for joining us today. Thanks, Tracy.